Welcome to Waterfall Country Estate, an upmarket residential estate located in the heart of Johannesburg, a stone's throw away from Sandton with easy access to all the amenities this suburb has to offer, Mall of Africa being one of the most famous. Behind me, a home designed by the architect Derek Britz. And we're going to be taking you through this four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, incredibly designed, artfully decorated family home. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Riveros. Welcome home. Now coming through the beautiful wooden facade, you are faced with this fully glass door providing you the privacy without taking away that stunning architectural elements of what floor to ceiling glass looks like. Now as I mentioned, this home was designed specifically for the plot it was put on and it has been done so well. I can easily say this is probably one of the most beautifully designed homes we've ever showcased on the Home Shopper Show. However, what I do need to mention, and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking about it, is the price point. So this home is going for 15,999,000 rand, which I think for what you're getting is an absolute steal. Now I've positioned myself specifically to showcase this stunning spiral staircase with the metal and wood design elements that you'll see flow throughout the home. But just to my left, is something super cool and we've never seen this before. It almost gives you the feeling of standing in one of those castle turrets, but so much warmer and so much more welcoming. A perfect reading nook and what you can see it has been designed as is also a wine cellar. The face brick makes it look so warm and welcoming and this wood flooring again, giving you a little bit of variation from the clean white tiles throughout the rest of the home. Then we've got these two ladders reaching all the way up into the cylindrical turret letting you grab wine, and we all know how much I like my wine. But coming through this area, you'll also find the guest wing of the home. So you've got a bedroom as well as a bathroom there, and we need to take a look at it. So come on through. So starting off, let's talk about this guest bedroom. Beautifully sized, specifically for a guest wing. And then what makes this absolutely killer is you've got this whole glass fronted area here. Again, it could be another reading nook. You've got this armchair perfectly placed with some down lighting and what down lighting you'll see throughout the house. I'm such a sucker for really nice lighting elements and this house has it in abundance. But as I mentioned, floor to ceiling glass all the way here, sliding door leading out onto a green space that is overlooked by nearly every single section of this house. They've thought so much about light and air and how to incorporate this in this home and it was spectacularly done. But here we are, bedroom really nicely sized, you've got space here for your guests clothing or your clothing if you'd like to use this as one of the bedrooms in the home. And then just over here with the easy access is your guest bathroom. So coming on in what you'll notice immediately is your single vanity raised up off of the countertop, under counter storage. On the right hand side, you've there got a hidden cistern and a soft closing toilet seat, and then a walk-in shower with three rectangular shaped windows opening outside onto that green area. And now that we've covered the guest wing, let's take a look what the upstairs of this spiral staircase has to offer. Now coming up the spiral staircase, you find yourself on a landing stretching across the entry hall. On my right hand side, 
you've got a stunning view of that green area. And right here on my left hand side, you can come on to this wrought iron balcony overlooking the reading nook in the wine cellar or wine turret, should I say. It is really such a cool feature, a little Easter egg, and a place where you can just overlook how stunningly done and how incredible the lighting is in this room. Now, crossing your bridge again, you've got floor to ceiling glass looking or overlooking your front door and here you are within the office area now this office area has got a few really really cool features one is and this is throughout the house there are seven zones for the speaker system you see in the ceiling we've got those exposed metal eye beams running across the ceiling and another feature or design element you'll see throughout the house is this tilted or slanted ceiling with glass all the way over there as well as as you can see over there letting in so much natural light and what a feature it's something we never see but incredibly spacious office more of that face brick behind sitting here doing some work what a nice place to be but when you need a break and all of us do need breaks maybe you need some fresh air just over here sliding glass door leading out to your very own upstairs patio some covering from the beautiful wood slats above us and then looking down into their green space as i did say so many rooms in this home have access to green spaces really making you feel relaxed and one with nature now another cool feature is if i just hop right over this inbuilt seating area this is a very nice touch wrapping all the way around they are those windows overlooking the kitchen area as well as the formal dining room and lounge area and you can see right over here we've got some wooden privacy slats really shielding you off from the neighbors and giving you privacy when you are out and relaxing and that is another thing you'll see throughout the house Another really cool feature, and you can see how incredibly well the, this home has been designed, is if you hop up on the seating area, just over there, you can see that roof line with all those windows, and those windows are looking in to your master bedroom and master bathroom, and we're gonna be there in a moment, but how nicely designed is this home? But we've spoken about this upstairs area, and there was a lot to speak about. Let's head right back down that spiral staircase and see what the rest of the home has to offer. And now we are back downstairs, passing that often mentioned green area, floor to ceiling glass, those I-beam designs, that exposed metal designs are so nice. But here we are within the living area. Take a look again at this slanted ceiling with all of that glass letting in that natural light. What an incredibly designed home. We've got down lighting on the rim of the bulkhead ceiling and you can see that is exposed concrete. But let's start first with the kitchen and let's talk design we've got these stunning floating tables concrete here matching the bulkhead ceilings above and then this perfectly designed dark countertop for all of your food prep needs we've got stunning down lights hanging from the ceiling and then plenty of under counter storage as well as cupboards we've also got another area around the back where you can do some more food prep but then let's talk appliances smeg gas stove we've got an oven right over here also smeg as well as a microwave and then if i wrap all the way back here one of my favorite machines the coffee machine then you've got your small chef's sink and let's take a look at the scullery area at what other sinks there are your double sink here with your water filter stunning faucets again more cupboards right over there and all of these cupboards over here and plenty of space under counter for your appliances another really cool thing is just out this door you've got a huge sink outside in case you need to do any washing up if you're going trail biking if you're going running and you get a bit muddy you can use the sink outside and not dirty your home and the reason i mention this is this estate has 35 kilometers of jogging trails of riding trails it has its very own waterfall lake as well as a gym clubhouse restaurant as well as two schools guys i cannot stop talking about how well equipped waterfall country estate is and your home is right there in the security and with easy access to all of those amenities now standing here by the breakfast nook We've got these sliding stackable glass doors that move off all the way to the side, again giving you access to a brand new outdoor courtyard. Like I mentioned, green areas are so important when it comes to this home.
Oh man, and it's a really nice place to be, I will admit. But there's so much more to talk about. Let's move in to the formal dining room area. It easily fits an eight-seater dining room table with plenty of space in between. We've got again stunning down lighting. Now this down lighting, I'd have to say, it'd probably be designed after the rest of the home with all the exposed metal, gives you that warehouse flavor. I really like that it's been incorporated and it turns this into a centerpiece, into an art piece without cluttering the home up. And right over here, you've got your formal sitting room area or your lounge area, gas fireplace, taking up this whole feature wall. Again, the down lighting throughout the bulkhead, speakers in the ceiling, so much space. But what is space without access to the outside? Wooden decking leads you across into your bar area. But how awesome is this, guys? You've got trees growing out of the decking. It feels like you're indoors, but you're not. You can sit down, relax on some of these sun decks. And, oh, this is beautifully done. I cannot actually explain how nice it must be to live here, guys. Sit down, relax. Stackable glass doors leading into all the different areas you might need. But I feel like I need a drink. And if you do need a drink and you're in this home, right over here, fully equipped bar area. So much space there for a place to sit down, relax. If you are the beautiful bar area, but if you want to be indoors, so much space there for another lounge suite. As you can see, it is decked out in case the weather maybe is not cooperating with you. You can sit right over here. And here it is the bar area, grill right over here. Plenty of space for all the alcohol you might need. You can mix it up. Oh, the down lighting again is exquisite. And you can carry on all the way through to your pool. Come take a look at this pool, guys. Going down these stairs, you've got a huge rectangular pool running the length and heated and going underneath this bridge. How epic is that? When have we ever seen something like this? I love that it's been done. I love that it's hidden. And I actually can't say enough on how cool it is that all of this is open. It is completely open. No doors here whatsoever. And the whole house just flows through. But again, more to show you. So come run on this side with me. This here can be closed off. So as I mentioned, if the weather is not cooperating with you, the rest of the house will still stay dry. And that leads us to the TV room. On my left hand side, you've got some flotation blinds you can open and close. And the reason you need the blinds is because this TV room, the courtyard, the kitchen. How epic is that? I mean, taking a walk to the kitchen, you don't even need to do it inside. You can run through one of your many courtyards, but beautifully equipped lounge area. You've got a inbuilt desk right here in case you need to do some work. Plenty of space for as big a TV as you could ever want. And that design element of the sloped ceiling does continue, we'll be seeing more of that. And on this side of the lounge area, if you pass those comfy looking beanies, here is the rest of the pool. I can think of a lot of people who quite enjoy doing laps underneath that little bridge, but I think it's our time to walk this way and take a journey across it. Now on this side of the house, these sliding doors and the way they slid, you might want to use this as a little jumping board into the pool. So this section of the house is where all of the bedrooms are located. You've got three bedrooms here, two downstairs and the master suite, the creme de la creme located upstairs. So we're going to leave that for last. Now, the owners of the house did a little design challenge when it came to uh, designing the two bedrooms of this house. And the wife did the girls room and her husband did the boys room and they decided to have a competition to see who won in terms of design here and I think both of them drew because they are done so well. Cupboards all the way across this side of the room, glossy finishes, really upmarket, look really nice. Sliding door leading out onto a wooden deck and then your backyard. Plenty of double pane glass there insulating the different rooms and right over here, ensuite bathroom, let's take a look at it. Now, one of the coolest things I think we've ever featured on the, on the show when it comes to bathtubs is this little bean bathtub. You've got your faucets built into the wall and you can sit and relax in this really cool looking bathtub. It does look comfortable. Walk-in shower behind me, heated towel rack, lighting coming in from the windows located all the way up, giving you lots of privacy. And then windows in front of me that are frosted, again, giving you lots of privacy, single vanity, under counter storage, massive mirror, that I think every toilet on the left hand side with a hidden cistern and then all the tiling done so exquisitely to match what you'd think or what you'd expect in a girl's room. So 
all you families out there that have got a girl that would love this room, guys, leave a comment. And then for all of you families that have got a boy who would love their room, come with me and let's take a look at that. And here we are coming into the boys' room. We've got down lighting built into the ceiling. Both rooms have fans and a continuation of those glossy upmarket cupboards on the left-hand side. Your very own deck and sliding door leading out into your garden on the right-hand side, letting in so much fresh air. And then your very own ensuite bathroom that again has been decorated specifically to match that this is a boys' room. You've got your single vanity, under counter storage, toilet right over there. Again, hidden cistern, soft closed lid. Be very fancy here. Yeah? And then you've got this walk-in shower. Believe you can and you will tiled onto the wall. If you need that morning inspiration when you're sitting and taking a shower, and if this home doesn't do it for you, that most certainly will. And then your very own outside access to the remainder of your garden. But walking right out, I'm on the deck, I'm in the backyard. You guys run through the house, I'll catch you around. And here we are back in with your easy access to the remainder of the house and we've got one thing left one thing left to talk about and that is the master suite so let's go out this door let's go up these beautiful concrete staircase so coming up this concrete staircase with all of this glass siding you'll find yourself your very own landing as every master suite deserves i mean this is your home your sanctuary you need your own landing stunning again down lighting really like the chandelier i also quite like the door handles, wrought iron door handles, again, bringing in that warehouse or industrial feel. But here we are within the master suite. Floor to ceiling glass. What else would you expect? Again, that sloped ceiling. You can see there are blinds on the ceiling. So if you don't want all that extra lighting, that's fine. Plenty of space here, the king bed, your very own private lounge suite in your master room. You've got a gas fireplace built into the wall there, TV, and then all the cupboard space you could ever desire yeah everybody that has got a massive clothes collection guys we've got you handled private property never fails to deliver so let's walk this way and here we find ourselves on your own floating bridge leading to your ensuite bathroom right over here and what a bathroom it is continuation of all of the cupboard space here and right over here in front of me, you've got a display area. So if you want to show off your sneakers, we've got you covered. If you've got really nice handbags, as you can see right here, we've also got you covered. Bathtub located right in the center underneath these stunning chandeliers. Behind me, a huge rainfall shower. And because of the trees just peeking above that glass there, it really does feel like you're in the rainforest taking a shower. And just behind this piece of glass here, is your toilet with the hidden cistern again. Sliding glass windows, letting in some of that air again, giving you that feeling of being outdoors, specifically when you're taking a shower or a bath. And just here, yeah, a his and hers vanity and two gigantic mirrors under counter storage. I mean, what else would you expect? But let's just take a, take a moment to appreciate this bathtub. It's not the usual oval bathtub. It's got a like tapered edge on the one side. It's so nice, specifically with this pedestal rising out of the floor and your faucets peeking out of them. Sitting here and enjoying a bath must really be quite the experience. But ladies and gentlemen, that is everything we have for you today when it comes to this home. So join me outside as we say goodbye. And here we are, perched rather precariously on the edge of this bridge overlooking the pool. And this is where we do say goodbye. So if you've fallen in love with this home, just like I have, what I'd like you to do is contact Melanie Pierce from Platinum Residential and she will schedule a viewing at your convenience. All of the details on screen right now, as well as in the description of the video, you can either call her or you can send her an email. But from myself, Chad, and the team at Private Property, as well as the Home Shopper Show, we're gonna have to love you and leave you. See you the next time we air every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. But guys, before you go, do not forget, if you're looking for a home like this or something in between, please log on to www.privateproperty.co.za and this is where you can find all of your listings by estate agents in your area or the area you would like to move to. So thank you so much. We love you and goodbye.